Hey there, everybody. Uh, this is Silk. We're doing Operation From Russia With Love. This is turn 13. Uh, Soviets common turn. Uh, there's no CCP, of course, so we can just jump right into, into turn for the, the Soviets there. Um, we do have only three tech rolls, because we're going to go ahead and move a factory this turn. Uh, try to deal with some of these bomb bombing problems we're having. So we're going to go for Airborne Doctrine and uh, rockets and improved logistics, of course. Uh, rough when you're going for two stage nine techs, but we, it is what it is, we're hoping here. Uh, if we go ahead and go submit this PBE, we do hit airborne doctrine, I think on a seven. And rockets, we very fortunately finally hit, I think on an 11. Uh, failed logistics, it's, it's a disappointment. I was hoping we could maybe do some fun things with logistics this game, but just was not to be. But uh, getting rockets definitely, definitely helps. I mean, desperately need that point, and uh, that might help us in the future anyway, if we can just lock them as is. So we hopefully we'll get lucky here and unroll that sometime in the near future here. As for our buys, oh, I got a little bit of, little, little bit of housekeeping. Um, the uh, submarine that Hambo wanted to place, uh, that he was initially wanted to place here, even though he does have a sub base, uh, only surface ships get to be built in port, uh, subs do not. So he's gonna go ahead and put that sub down here in M1. Um, something else that uh, Didier had caught was in, when I moved into Syria, um, there was a militia there that I didn't realize was there. We did, uh, Hambone caught that of course, and we did uh, go ahead and PBE the three artillery, and he was gonna, we were gonna PBE the militia as well, uh, but we got two hits with the artillery, so we just removed that militia before he, Ever got to do anything? So uh, I believe that's all we've got housekeeping-wise. Uh, so let's get to our buy phase. Uh, we've got 61. We're going to spend 60 of it. Uh, pretty kind of boring, but simple buy here. I've got two two T34s, two Katushas. So that's 20. I've got five advanced mechs. That's another 20. And then for another package of 20, I got a medium armor, a light armor. Two airborne, a militia, a militia upgrade. So that all equals 60. I had 61. So let's get to our combat moves. So uh, due to the actions of the Italians over here, as we understand it, they are uh, preparing to conquer the Orthodox faith over here on Istanbul. That's why they've been moving over all of this. All this territory, and uh, we have to somehow stop this Italian menace from rummaging all through the, the beloved Orthodox faith. Uh, therefore, the only solution we've come up with is that we must, unfortunately, declare war on the Republic of Turkey to secure uh, the Patriarch in Istanbul and protect him from the predations of the Italians. So let's go ahead and get that going here. Um, we're going to move this mountain and this infantry from eastern Anatolia into Karadens. Uh, we're going to add a medium armor and one advanced mech with that. And then going into Actinese, we've got a lot of stuff here. Oh, that's actually why I've got this marker here. From uh, eastern Anatolia, we've got one cavalry and two mechanized. From Syria, we have three artillery. Cavalry. Three infantry. And airborne. Leaving behind one infantry and one motorized infantry. Um, we then have uh, from uh, Eastern Anatolia, this one cavalry is going to go into Ankara. That's just going to be a walk in. That's that. That'll net us $1. And then. Uh, all the way from way up here in Kursk, we actually going to transport down. Uh, should be one, two, three, 
and then it's right, one, two, three, four, yeah, and then five, six. So in the uh, the uh, carry dens there, we drop two airborne units from. Seems like that's pretty good. Oh, those are very high attack value. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and add our tactical bomber into that fight in uh, Acmes. Go ahead and get that guy going. That's all we've got for our combat still. Not that we have anything anywhere else. No gobbling to do. So, yeah, that's all we got. So, we'll go ahead and get those fights going here. Uh, going into uh, Caridans, I've got two, two with the Airborne, uh, two with the Mountain Brigade. So, that's three twos. And then I've got a three from the advanced mech and a five from the armor. So we'll do the three twos and the five here. And we got two hits. So we aim for that. Uh, they have a single two back coming at us, which they hit unfortunately. So that does kill one of our airborne. So that's a bummer. Over here in Actonese, I've got three first strikes at two, and they've got a first strike coming back at three, so the purple will be their first strike and the reds will be mine. Uh, so everybody misses. Um, I've then got two twos from the cab, and I'll have three twos from the boosted infantry. Actually, in a two, f no, I got force walking, so I'm gonna have five twos. Yeah, I'm going to roll this purple as the tactical, because he's at a 7, and hopefully that's going to get us our two hits right here. Um, well, the tactical did his job, but that's all for that. And then I've got two at 3 and one at 1. So we'll grab the blue here. So the blues are the 3s, the purple. The one we're looking for one more hit. No oh, double ones. All right, then so we got that done, and he still has a two left coming back at me with the militia. Whew, that was close. All right, so that gets Agnes off the board. Then we can go into our run combat moves. Uh, that tactical is going to land in Eastern Anatolia. The two Marines from Transcaucasia are going to move up to Anatolia. The uh, giant 98th Army here in southern Ukraine, here's the whole stack, is going to go to western Ukraine. Uh, it's going to get joined by all six units that are in Kiev. All go there. CD kicking in here. I like to keep my potential blitzing units on their own markers. And then I'll keep everything else on an infantry marker there. Uh, the four infantry from Eastern Ukraine.
Oh, the advanced artillery, it of course rolled in from Kiev. Uh, from Curse could be two T-34s. And both Katushas from Curse are going to roll in to Western Ukraine. As well as that last mechanized. That gets us to seven mechanized. Or advanced mechanized. I don't have any normal mechs. I try not to buy them if I can avoid it, as a general rule. Um, from Latvia, the uh, infantry and airborne are going to drop down to Pet Latvia. The two infantry, the advanced artillery, and the motorized are all also all going to go to Pet Latvia. Then from Leningrad, we're going to move four infantry out to Estonia. That should be everything except for we got to move our factory. Oh, these guys. from Crimea to Chirita. That should be everything. Happy with the Japanese. We'll see if uh, they decide to stay on their side or if they're going to come for us. But I think we're having a pretty peaceful game this game. We'll see how long they how long they decide to imagine they're pretty happy with their point situation. Uh, that should be all I've got for that, my jet stays there. The factory is the Moscow factory that's going to get railed. So it will depart Moscow and then shift over to Oral Curse gear. So it can operate under my air cover. And hopefully, I can protect these two from bombing with my two fighters on my jet. Uh, the coastal sub in the Black Sea will go to M10. As far as I know, there's no fighters here, so he should be safe there. Uh, if there is a fighter there, he probably stays where he is in M11, but I don't believe there's any fighter there. Oh, they're good, they're good. Uh, these guys go on the guard. That should be everything. So we got a militia and a militia upgrade. The militia goes in Syria. The militia getting upgraded is this guy in eastern Ukraine. That's what he goes on the card. Two T thirty fours, the two Katushas, and medium armor, light armor, two advanced mechs. All go in oral curse. Three advanced mechs. do a quick uh, unit update here. Uh, gosh, 20, right, two, three, four, five, that's 20 plus my two. So 22 infantry, two airborne, four triple A, three motorized, advanced artillery, motorized artillery, four T-34s, seven advanced mechs, six Katushas. 
That's what's in Western Ukraine. Uh, Tarita's got an infantry. Crimea's got an infantry and a militia. Uh, Oral Curse has got two T-34s, two Katushas, a medium armor, a light armor, two advanced mechs, a jet, two fighters. Moscow's got an infantry and two militia. Northern Belarus has got a militia. Podlaka's got three infantry, an airborne, a motorized, and an advanced artillery. Estonia's got four infantry. Uh, Leningrad's got four infantry, two militia, three uh, airborne. Uh, nothing's changed there. Nothing's changed on the Chinese coast. Uh, Southern Iran is an infantry, militia, airborne. Southern Iraq is two infantry and a militia. Syria is a infantry, a motorized, and a militia. Uh, Eastern Anatolia is two marines and a tactical. Uh, car is a single cab. And I got an um, advanced mech, an infantry, a mountain, a airborne, and an armor, and Karadin. Then in Akdens, I've got two cav, three artillery, three infantry, two advanced mechs, and an airborne. And that should be all we've got. Um, we did pick up one IPP from taking in car there. We're finally starting to make more money than the Germans. Uh, later than I would like, unfortunately. Uh, them getting to take Iraq when they did really threw our schedule off, unfortunately. But life is what it is. Just gotta make do with what you have. Um, that should be everything for that. Uh, so we collect uh, 59, we get 3 for propaganda, and we might get the Lindley's here. Um, I'm going to check with the Americans, but now that the Germans are off the line, and we're fighting the Germans, they may go ahead and use give us the 2 for the Arctic Commerce Line. So we're at least at 62, and we might be at 64. Uh, we'll check in, you know, maybe the Brits will check in with them for me here, and we'll see. Uh, and we actually had the one saved, so uh, that's exciting. It was 62. And that's everything we got. So uh, this is Silk signing off. Uh, everybody, have a great day and game on.